السلام عليكم In this lecture, we will see how to calculate the pharmacokinetic parameters from plasma concentration versus time data using Microsoft Excel. After intravenous administration, plasma samples were collected at one hour time intervals. The drug concentrations in the samples were determined. The plasma concentration versus time data are provided. First, one should insert the plasma concentration and the time data points in two separate columns. We will assign the column A to the, to the time data and the column B to the plasma concentration data. Time is given in hours. Plasma concentrations are given in microgram per milli. So column A will be for time in hours and column B will be for plasma concentration in microgram per milli. Samples were taken at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 hours. The plasma concentrations were 133, 117, 104, 92, 82 and 73 microgram per milli. No plasma samples were collected at zero time. We will calculate the plasma concentration at zero time mathematically. Now we will plot the plasma concentration versus time data. For this purpose, we first go to the insert tab we then in the scatter or in the chart section we click on scatter and then we click on scatter with only markers to insert a blank chart Now we should specify the data to be plotted. The chart should be selected. Then from the design tab, we click on select data. We click on add to add a new data series. In the first box we give a name to the data series let's call it plasma concentration data then we stop by the x values field and select the values of x the independent parameter, these are the time values. Then we stop by the Y values field and select the values of Y, the dependent parameter. This is the plasma concentration. We click OK twice. Excel has now plotted the plasma concentration versus time data. As I have explained earlier, ADME processes are usually first order processes. To get a straight line, one should plot log concentration versus time data rather than concentration versus time data. We can calculate logarithms using Excel. I will assign the column C for log concentration data.
Log concentration data, log concentrations have no units. Now we will calculate logarithms of the plasma concentrations. We select the cell adjacent to the first plasma concentration value. I will insert a function to instruct Excel to calculate the logarithm of the value in the adjacent cell. I enter equal log 10 to instruct Excel to calculate log to the base 10. Then open a bracket, select the cell for which I would like to calculate the logarithm. This is the first plasma concentration value. Close the bracket and press enter. Excel has now calculated the log of the first plasma concentration value. We need not repeat this for each concentration value. We can just copy this first cell and paste it for the five next cells. Excel has now calculated the logarithms of the plasma concentration values. Each cell in this column contains the logarithm of the value in the adjacent cell. Now we want to change the blotted data. We need to blot log concentration versus time data rather than concentration versus time data. We again select this chart from the design tab. We click on select data. The data series plasma concentration data is then selected. We edit this data series. The, plasma, the series X values are the same, the time values, but we need to replace the Y values. We replace the plasma concentration data with the log concentration data. and click OK twice. Now, log plasma concentration data, log plasma concentration against time data are plotted. As we see, the relationship is almost linear. For linear fitting and to calculate the intercept and the slope of this line, we select any data point, we then right click and click on add trend line. From the trend line options, we select linear fitting and also select this option to display equation on chart. Excel has now performed linear regression analysis. The equation of the line is given y equal minus 0.052x plus 2.1736. The value of the intercept is 2.1736 and the value of the slope is minus 0.052. We can also calculate the intercept and the slope of the line using equations. Let's calculate first the intercept. To calculate the intercept, we, sell, we enter the following equation. Equal intercept and then open a bracket. Select Y data. These are 
log plasma concentration data, comma, select x data. These are time data, close the bracket and enter. Excel calculated the intercept of the line. It's the same value as given here. Then we calculate the slope. For this purpose, we enter the following equation, equal, slope, open a bracket, select y data, comma, select x data, close the bracket, Excel has calculated the slope, the same value appearing here.